The WordPress Flickr Embed Block lets you add photos and videos from Flickr to your posts and pages. When a visitor clicks the photo or video, they'll be directed to Flickr, where they can view and or play your media since videos can't actually play via the embed. You're also able to embed albums and galleries that have navigation arrows. That way, visitors can see all of the media you want to show them without being redirected to Flickr. Since you can only share photos and videos that are public, you'll want to double check your settings in Flickr to ensure the media can be embedded. So on the Flickr page, scroll down, check out your viewing privacy and make sure it's set to public. Now on your post or page, find the add block button and press it, type in Flickr and click it. Now on our Flickr page, we can either copy the URL from the address bar, or we can press the little share icon and copy the link that way. Now back to WordPress, paste that link and press the embed button. And just like that, there it is. Real quick, it's very blurry and I'm not sure why it does this, but I can guarantee you that if you go into preview in new tab, you'll see that the image is totally fine. So again, not sure why it does that in the preview, but don't worry. If you want to embed an album or gallery or group pool, just simply navigate to it, copy the link from either the address bar, or again, you can press that share icon, press on the Flickr embed block, press the pencil icon, change the link, press embed, and oh, look at that. Sorry, this content could not be embedded. If this happens, well, maybe the link is broken or I copied and pasted something that's not actually the link, or maybe the privacy settings aren't set to public. So let me try again. And there we go, it is completely fixed. Now, here's the thing. This also looks really weird. We have scroll bars, which just doesn't make sense. But again, if we go to preview, preview a new tab, scroll down, there it is. It looks great. It has navigation arrows and everything like that. So just understand that from the back end, things might look a little wonky, but as long as you go preview it, you should see that everything is completely okay. Real quick, let's run through the settings. So this first option here lets us transform it to a paragraph, columns, group. We also have the drag and move tools. We could also do the alignment. The pencil icon, as we know, will let us edit the URL. And then we have more options where we can copy, duplicate, insert before and after, move to, edit as HTML, add it to reusable blocks, group, and of course, remove block. That's pretty much all there is to the Flickr embed block. We're also covering all the other different embed blocks like SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, you name it, we're doing it. And we also are covering other WordPress blocks. So check out our series on our YouTube channel. But if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.